Hi Scorpio, welcome to your January 2017 Tarot Reading with Island Girl Tarot. I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday. Happy, happy, happy New Year. Um, if you're interested in a private reading, it's islandgirl2008 at gmail.com. That's islandgirl with two L's on the end of girl2008 at gmail.com. Excuse me. If this does not resonate with you, by all means, check out your rising and your moon sign. Um, those, a lot of times, uh, resonate a little more with you. So, let's see. Concentrate on our Scorpio. January 2017. I'm a Scorpio rising, so. Be interested to see. I had two cards fly out of the deck. If they come back up again, I'll tell you what they were. Okay, and then the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands. So that's the overall energy, and that's an energy of almost completions. You know, we're almost there, especially the Ten of Wands. You've got all the nonsense, and you picked it up, and you're like, I'm... There's the promised land right there. I'm almost there. So, well, it looks like a lovely reading, um, Scorpio. The center of the reading is the Three of Cups, which we know is a celebration. Underneath it, and this just struck me, I just feel like this. Underneath it is the Five of Pentacles, and then the Two of Cups is next to it. You know what? This is a group of three people and somebody feeling left out and jealous and this may be a family squabble or family um, you know a group of girlfriends and somebody's being catty or it's you know being being mean to the pretty girl or however you want to put it there's just something there's just something not nice about these two cards the other way to read it could be is that you spent too much money celebrating and now you're broke but <clears throat> the cards the rest of the cards do not own up to that at all now if that resonates with you um, buckle up, but because for the most majority of the people, it looks like January is going to be just a fantastic month. It looks like you've got um, lots of communication coming in regarding your uh, business. You may even have started a new business, um, have decided to go out on your own and do something creatively, Scorpio. Look at this with the Judgment card. And the King of Wands. The King of Wands certainly speaks to, um, uh, uh, you know, the fire sign element, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And, I mean, we've got a lot of fire sign, a lot of creativity. This is at the top of your game. This reminds me of somebody that worked for a corporation and decided to go out on their own. Um, and if this is what you've done, you're going to be very successful with the Judgment card coming up with the Queen of Pentacles, the only thing I would say is make sure that you uh, check all of your documents um, and make sure that your, and I just want to say your compensation is exactly what you think it is. As a matter of fact, this could be, and I don't mean to jump around, but it can mean so many different things and there's so many different Scorpios out there that I want to try and apply it to as many as possible. This could even mean uh, a female starting her own business from home, okay, and uh, maybe with a group of friends or, or what have you, you know, this could be working out of your kitchen, doing cupcakes, doing whatever, um, and I keep telling, you know, and this again has been a theme, it's not showing up in your reading other than, you know, the Five of Pentacles can just on its own mean an unexpected expense, aren't there always, um, but if you have been recently laid off and you don't know what to do, meditate, go within, and, and excuse me, your answers are within you. So just, if you can't meditate, do a guided meditation. Um, those, that's what I have to do. I can't settle this brain down. Um, the last card is, is, is the Six of Cups, which to me... It's a card of nostalgia. It's a card of bliss. It's happiness. It's contentment. You know, I, it's just really, really a really nice reading. And again, with the Ten of Wands being the overall energy of the reading, 
it shows me if you have had a big burden on your shoulders, you are just literally almost done with it. You really, really are. And, you know, any um, lack of help, you know, kind of that's what this makes me think of is that, you know, you're in need of help and you, people around you can't help you and they have it and won't help you. But that's fine because in the end you're not going to need their help. And when you're standing, you know, uh, 10 feet tall as the master of your universe and able to do exactly what you want to do creatively, how you want to do it, where you want to do it from, from home, you can basically just give the finger to everybody else and go, told you so. I may not be rich, but at least I'm doing what I want to do when I want to do it in the time frame that I want to do it. So... I mean, and if, and if you are where you can do that and people do give you grief or, you know, if you're working from home, then you're not really working. You just can put them in your place, in their place. Um, if you have any questions about this reading, if it does resonate with you, please leave me some information, uh, some feedback. Um, again, I just really feel like if you have been laid off, you have, especially when you think worldwide, you have some sort of gift within you that somebody will pay for somewhere on this planet. And, you know, I'm doing this with a webcam and a computer. And, you know, you can reach multitudes of people. And whether, you know, and I keep using the same scenarios, but just because they tend to resonate with me. But, I mean, if you're a rocket scientist and you're going to work every day and you're absolutely miserable and you come home on the weekend and you take it out and you make these beautiful carvings, well, hello, start selling those on Etsy. And once you see that you can get several thousand dollars for one of your creations, you will begin to make more and more time for your hobby and be able to eventually find out that if you can retire, especially if, if you've been working your whole life. And you've got that retirement. And, I, you know, here's the other thing that I i haven't heard an astrologer say it, but I just know this because I can observe it and I can see it. People that are the baby boomers, when they retire, they're not retiring. They're getting second jobs. They're consulting the whole nine yards. So taxes are still being paid in. Uh, people, people can't afford to retire, especially if they're going to live to be 90 or 80. That's another 20 or 30 years. Nobody's got that kind of money, not unless you're you know, very, very wealthy. So anyhow, um, and if that is you and you just need, it's telling you to go in and, and tap into that creative side for you. So I hope this uh, makes sense. Again, uh, Scorpio, take care. Happy New Year. Again, thanks so much for your likes, shares, and subscribe to Island Girl Tarot. Bye-bye.